Welcome to Question Time. I'm Omkar Goswami. Think of photography and you surely think of my guest. He started clicking in 1965. And guess what? A donkey was his first shot. He worked for the Statesman, the Sunday Magazine, and the India Today, producing some of the greatest black and white pictures and photojournalism. Shot the most defining pictures of Indira Gandhi, of Mother Teresa, the Punjab insurgency, and the Bhopal gas tragedy. The only Indian to be a member of Magnum, the cooperative founded by the likes of Henri Cartier-Bresson. 20 books and still clicking away. Meet Raghu Rai, a lover of Hindustani classical music, photographer, good food, and a Punjabi with a love for life. Raghu, thank you very much for being on the show. How did you get into it? You, had, you were four brothers. Was your elder brother, who was such a fine photographer, Satyapal, was he the reason? Espol. 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 Yes. Was he the reason for? I guess so. Because, you know... You were a civil engineer. Yeah, I did civil engineering, worked, worked with the government for a year, got bored with it, came to stay with my elder brother, Paul. And I was basically doing cooking for him and looking after the house. Till one day, one of his friends, very nice guy, Yog Joy, he turned up and he was planning to go to his village to take photographs. And since I was doing nothing, so I said, why don't you give me a small camera? I'll also go along you know, and take some pictures. So, you know, accidents do happen. And sometimes they lead you to the right path, you know, such accidents. So this was one of those things. Raghu, as a, the initial period, when you were <clears throat> a photographer for the Statesman, and that was for a long period, if I'm not mistaken, you started in 66, and you were there for almost a decade, right? Yeah, that's right. What were, what was the, what was it like to take photographs? Because almost all of it was black and white. Yeah. What space did a photographer have, and what kind of a photo editor did you need so that a great photograph went through? And given the fact that it also went through in newspapers with bad printing those days. Bad printing, yes. <laughs> See, uh, Statesman. First, my uh, first job. My news editor, Mr. Sharma, I still remember him with a lot of uh, admiration. He will tell me, Raghurai, today we don't have much and we have a couple of assignments, so we'll need a small picture of two columns this way or three columns this way. And you hear this and you say, oh my God, everything is defined. Mm. So you think and you say, never mind. So you go to that small assignment and you put in all that you can into that situation and try to get the best out of it, come back and make a print of this size. So as I would walk into his room, he'll, from a distance he'll see, Raghura, I, I told you it, it's a small story, small picture. I, I would say, Sharmanji, take a look. The best thing about him was that he will read every inch of space. Mm you know, very carefully, and then he'll say, yes, it is a good picture. Shall we make it four? I'll say, Sharmaji, this is five, co six columns. No, but story is not big. I said, still, Sharmaji, look at it. Since you don't have any good picture today. All right, five columns. So were you at the, there at the same time with uh, Jana? No, no. He was maybe in, in Calcutta office, Sunil Jana, for but some Sunil time. But Sunil Jana and you never overlapped in the same office no. because that would have been fantastic to see a photographer yeah. of his caliber then. <laughs> yeah. But tell me, what were the defining pictures in your statesman days? I'm, I'm talking of 67, 66, 67 to 77. Tubar.com.